you had probably tried the normal pancake before but have you tried soca or if you visit italy or france it is a waste out if you don't try their tasty soca so hi assalamualaikum my name is nuri and i will talk about soca or it also called farinata in this topic soca i will touch about three main points which is the background the ingredient and of course the uh, recipe so for the first one i will talk about the background first legends say that recipe of soca has discovered when trush attacked uh, the nice the Trush attacked the city of Nice in 1543. But when Nice ran off the invitation, so one of the defenders just mixed hot oil and uh, chickpea soup and then pour it, in, uh, pour it into the wall and pour it onto the head of the enemy, which is Trush. And it's worse. And it's worse. It stopped the inventing Trush from attacking them. After that, one of the defendants just lick it their finger and taste it and say, Hmm, this stuff is pretty good. Why not I why not we sell it? And uh, in the early of uh, 1900, Soka has sell and gained popularity as a quick snack. Okay, and uh, Soka also has a popular street food throughout France and Italy as an appetizer. So, so for the second main point I want to share is the ingredients. For the ingredients, I divided into two. Um, I di I divided into two parts, which is the main ingredient and the side ingredient. For the main ingredient, of course, we need a chickpea flour to make a tasty soca. And for the side ingredients, we need hot water. Okay, remember hot water, uh, sea salt, and olive oil. The reason why we must have the hot water is to remove the lump inside the butter and to uh, to mix it well. Okay, and of course, we also need an uh, optional ingredients. Okay, let's say you are a, a spicy person. You like spicy food. So you can put like a spicy powder uh, on your soca, of course. Or you, you can also put uh, herbs or pepper if you like spice. So after we have all the ingredients, of course now the best part is the recipe. So for the recipe of soca, same goes with the ingredients. I divided into two parts, which is the butter preparation and baking process. Okay. For the uh, okay, before we move on to the first step, okay, we must to preheat the oven for uh, 450 degrees Celsius. While uh, preheat the oven, we must put the soca pan, the round, the big round one, inside the oven. Okay, okay. After you preheat the oven, you leave it, you leave it side, and then we move on to the first step, which is. Um, Put the chickpea flour inside the bowl. The measurement like two cup. Okay, two cup for two person. It depends on uh, on how many person we eat your soca. So like the example that I will give is a uh, two cup. Okay, so put two cup uh, chickpea flour on the bowl and then put one cup hot water uh, inside the bowl just now and then mix it well. Remove all the lump. Okay, with the hot water. And then while you mix it, you have to put uh, two tablespoon of uh, olive oil. Okay, and then mix it well. And then okay, for the fourth step is the part when you're gonna put your uh, optional ingredients like your pepper or your spicy powder. Okay, so like my I'm example, I like um food that tastes uh, garlic garlic so I'm going to put onion that I already cooked and it's uh, well brown so I'm going to put the onion and inside the butter and mix it well and okay mix it well and then you leave it aside for like uh, five minutes like that and then for the baking process remember that we have preheat the oven with the soca pan and then you take the soca pan and then put the butter that we just made just now 
and put uh, on top of the sub the surface of the pan. Okay, put in, uh, the butter on the pan and then bake for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, bake 10 to 15 minutes and then when the oven ding, uh, like that, so that's me you have to take out the soka and if the soka is the surface of the soka looks dry, you can brush it with the olive oil, uh, olive oil on the top of the soka. And then you just put inside the oven, uh, inside the oven bag until the surface of the soka become brown and become uh, crispy like that and then you can cut into wedges and it is ready to serve okay with all that said okay we have finished all the three main points that i want to share so let me conclude all what i have shared uh, just now so for the first one that we have uh, that we know that soka is very famous uh, in france and turkey the second one there is um, the ingredients of uh, of making for making soka is chickpea of course and it is important to remove all the lump inside the butter okay that's why we must have the hot water not just the um, normal water so for the last one is the um, the recipe the recipe is for the recipe uh, they have two parts which is the butter part and the baking part okay so uh, let me share with you guys uh, um, some quotes regarding to the uh, food okay the first one is um, you can create good things with bar with bare with bare things like chickpea chickpea is a normal uh, ingredients right and and you can create a such a wonderful or tasty um, food okay so the next quote that i want to share is um you don't need a silver fox to to eat a good food that means you don't need to go uh, to the restaurant or some uh, to the restaurant to try a good food you can also make it at your house so that's all from me thank you for thank you for listening i hope you guys can try this recipe and assalamualaikum bye